Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pack Puncher, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this one guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the new secret World War 2 Zombies map inside Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies known as Grouston House. Now this is a secret map that you can only unlock doing specific tasks, and I'll be showing you those tasks today as well as I'm going to be going through a whole map walkthrough showing you everything important in this map just in case you do not have it yourself. So without further ado guys, drop a like. And let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to actually play this map, Grouston House. Now the first easy way to play this, guys, is if you have an offline account, go offline, not connected to your server, play local, this map will automatically be unlocked, Grouston House. Now if you're online, this map is actually the prologue. So you'll play as a prologue mission, but you won't be able to play it right away. You have to do a, a few things before that. Number one, the main thing is go on the map, the final Reich, and do the casual solo Easter egg, or just a co-op Easter egg. Do that fireworks Easter egg, and once you do that, you unlock this Grouston house and house map to play with your friends or play solo now also there is a rumored way that if you do beat the campaign inside of world war 2 that you do unlock this map as well i cannot confirm this right now but i'm almost 100 percent positive that that is also another method but I, like i said guys highly recommend just doing the fireworks solo easter egg or co-op easter egg on the final reich pretty easy should be able to knock it out and you will unlock this map so now that i've explained how to unlock this map and play grouse and house i'm gonna hop into a game of the map and show you guys everything you need to know so as you guys can see, we just spawned in the map, Grouston House. We're playing it live right here. This is the map. It's not that big. Um, and also, I will say Grouston House. You guys can call it whatever you want. I'm um, sorry if the, mis the pronunciation is wrong. But this is the map, guys. Pretty small. I'm going to go through a whole rundown of everything you need to know about the map. Right here, we have an MP40 wall by for 1,000 jolts. That's kind of the one of the, the main wall pins in this map. Coming over here, we're going to have another wall event, which is going to be the STG44 for 1,500 jolts. Um, right here we have armor for 500 points gonna buy that for sure just kidding already have armor um, That's that you get the armor up there And then we're gonna go upstairs up the ladder here and right here. We have the combat shotgun for 1,000 jolts um, Last but not least all we have right here is basically the wonder fizz a random perk machine basically for 2,000 jolts Just like wonder fizz if you played black Ops 3 zombies or any you know black Ops 2 Treyarch version and pretty much, guys, that is the entire map of Grouse and House. Very, very small map. Obviously, this ultimate guide isn't that extensive, but there is one little secret that I'll be showing you guys right now how to unlock, and that is how to get inside this room. So there are actually two ways on how to get inside this room and use the mystery box inside. Number one is get to wave 20 on this map, whether solo, solo or co-op, it does not matter. As you guys have seen the screen right now, my first time streaming this map, I actually made it to round 20, and the door's open. I kind of freaked out a little bit, but yes, that's the first way, get to wave 20. The second way, a much easier route, is by shooting 10 different lanterns across the map and making them illuminate. I'm going to go through all of them right now. So you shoot that one right there, a little purple kind of thing goes over there, there's one. Shoot that, two right here there's three this one's gonna be outside a little bit tricky hope your brightness is up right there four right here gonna be number five boom going up on the stairs right here number six done seven right there eight hang on the wall right here nine right here and the last but not least right here outside the map is gonna be the 10th and final one you shoot it see the purple and as you guys can see up here, the door has been open. The mystery box is now available for you for 1,000 jolts. So yeah, that's basically the whole entire map. It is a very, very small map. Gives me kind of a memories of Nocturne Toten from you know World at War Zombies in the way that it's a pretty small map with you know not too much you know to do with it. I mean, you got, I guess you have your random perk similar to the Wonder Fizz right here. Um, you have a mystery box and a few wall opens, but that's pretty much it. You know, it gives me that World at War vibe, and I, I like it. You know, I like how this map is. It's a challenge, which is cool. But um, this this mystery box right here is definitely gonna be useful. 100% use that if to your advantage, because you know the three wall bins, they're not as good as they seem. You know what I mean? I mean I just use so many better guns in the mystery box right here, just such as the, the jack in the boxes, of course. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been the full ultimate guide of Grouse and House, showing you guys the full map. It's really not that big, like I said. Just want to kind of give you guys a rundown for those that do not have the map, explain to you how to get the map, and you know you know decide whether you want to get it or not. I say yes. It's definitely a fun challenge map to play with some friends for sure. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it. Really would appreciate it. We're going to be aiming for 2,000 likes on today's video. So if you could drop a thumbs up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, guys, comment down below. Will you end up beginning this map of Grouse and House? Because I do highly recommend it for sure. It's a lot of fun to play, and uh, I, I would definitely do it. Um, my recommendation would be doing the solo Easter egg on the final Reich, unlocking that fireworks achievement to unlock the map. And also, guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Join the Pack Bunch Army. I really would appreciate it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.